using today. So I haven't really used this baby a lot. It's the um, Morphe Madison Beard Channel Surfacing Palette. And really all I'm going to take is I'm taking this shade. Ooh, I just I just stabbed the color. I'm taking this shade right here and then I'm taking this shade right here to smoke out the brown liner, okay? And then I'm just going to come in this palette and the Jeffree Star Dry Breaker palette and take my favorite shade, the cone shade. And I might use a little bit of that tasty shade as well. I'll mix those two for the brown liner to smoke it out. Okay. All right now. Let's see here. So I did prime my eyes with my Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Primer. Definitely get this eyeshadow primer, y'all. It is the bomb. Beauty.com. It is <laughs> chef's kiss. All right. And then I'm also coming in and I'm using my NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner in the shade Brown. So let's go ahead and get into the beats, okay? So first I'm going to take a, this is more like a, a smudger brush, really. But I'm going to take that into that, that light brown shade that I showed you guys. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, and so now I'm going to just kind of take it in here and kind of create a shape. So I'm just going to go above the crease. You can go try to make the top as clean as possible, um, but you can make the bottom part a little messy. bit because I like how the other eye is a little bit more up there. We just, I decided to come up with something. I did, I want to do another matte look. Because I love that last matte, matte look that I did. With the, it was very dark. It was very matte. Um, and black. But I wanted something just a little bit different. So now I'm going to take my Morphe M506. And I'm going to actually go into that brown shade. And just, you know, blend it a little bit. Just take it upwards and try to do like the 50-50 method that I talk about all the time in my videos. Where you know half the brush is on the eyeshadow and half of it's on the skin. The eyeshadow base is not um, set on top, so it should be able to grab the pigment perfectly. And I want to make sure I like the look at a certain angle and see. Step back and see. Sometimes I should still be out of. Uh, symmetry when I step back <laughs> but it all comes with practice I feel like if I you know continue to practice I'll get better at making my look symmetrical symmetrical but since I do one eye off camera I normally like to do both eyes at the same time and like perfect 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 but this isn't the case with this one Okay, so now that I have that the way that I want it, I'm going to come in with the shade Cone, and I'm going to kind of just pat that on top, really. Just come in and pat it on top, and I'm laying the brush flat this time. I just saw the first time I was blending, I was blending more with the point. This time, we're going to take it and just kind of use the belly of the brush and just pat. I swear y'all, I don't want to ever this blend. Padding is the way to go. So now I'm going to go back in with the deeper shade. The first shade that I used. And just deepen that, that crease up just a little bit. I 
Now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. Did y'all see that? And I'm going to get the shade cone and I'm just going to take that and blend. Blendy, 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 blend. Using very, 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 very light pressure. Light pressure. And I'm very, very light with it, y'all. Yo, my allergies are doing some, some other stuff. Some other stuff, man. Let me correct this. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to come back in with the shade cone and just kind of keep on blending. And blending and blending and blending. And then go back in with the darker shade. Now I'm adding some pressure to it. But nothing too much, okay? Nothing too much to work. It's like, oh, hold on. And then come back in and blend that top area. So now I'm going to take my infallible full wear concealer in the shade Cashmere. This is the concealer that I use on my face every day, under my brows, and whatnot. And now I'm just going to come through here. We're not cutting the crease, really. We're just going to be stamping uh, like so okay I just want you to focus on me and pull me closer give me that diagnosis blow my mind like it's oceans this one time sees me up less I'm gonna feel like it's endless okay so now I'm just gonna take my concealer brush from Morphe this is the E20 and I'm just gonna kind of blend the blend this part already just take that part blend it I'm going to take this brush from the crayon case and just start to blend the edges of the concealer with the eyeshadow that's literally all that we're doing Okay, so I like that. I'm gonna come back in with the concealer brush and pat that down. I'm gonna take a look at it from afar. Yeah, it looks good. I want to take this up, maybe this a little, a little bit higher. So 
I'm going to take um, this shade right here. I forgot to show you this one shade. Hold on. Let me make sure this shit blended right. I'm just going to take this shade from the Heavy Fits You. I use this shade all the time. It's the second cream shade right there. And then just take that and pack that on. It's a perfect, like, cream nude shade. Okay. It's perfect. You really want to set the concealer really well. Like so, like that. So now I'm just going to take the same shades that we used beforehand and come here and just start to blend around. And add more on the outer corner. A little bit of the honey shade kind of got on it, so we're just gonna give me that cone shade. So we can add a little bit of cone on the inner inner portion of the eye. Yeah, so now I'm going to take Epic Wear Brown Liquid Liner. We're going to do like a nice thick liner. to take my smudger brush right here and I'm going to come on top of this liner Yeah, I like it. I'm good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. My ears are getting it everywhere. I 
Alright you guys, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to put on my lashes and do my full face and then I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I am back. I did the full face. All I did was I added a little bit of bronzer underneath my eye. Put some, um, a nude um, eyeliner in the waterline. And then I put some mascara on. Okay, I just finished up the look real quick. Now I'm going to take my MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. I'm going to do like a very light lip with this. I think I'm going to try to. Uh -uh. Okay, so now that I have my lip liner on. Okay, so now I have my lip liner on, the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, I'm going to take the MAC Creme de Nude Lipstick. I haven't tried this, I just bought this. And uh, I have yet to try it. Oh yeah, that's cute. It's perfect for that natural lip. It's getting for that. So now I'm gonna take some of this Morphe Chill Lip Gloss and I'm gonna apply that on top. I'm gonna add this Mac Tiana Taylor Gloss in Gonna Love Me. Ah, oh, you're gonna love me. Yeah, I like that. Right Beat the fuck. <laughs> so you guys, this is the final look right here. Get into it. Get into it. Okay, if you enjoyed watching this video or did if you learn any tips and tricks, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Okay, I post videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe and enable all notifications. Don't miss none, okay? Because I come with the fire, I come with the heat. I come with the tips and I come with the tricks. <laughs> but you guys, I'll see I'll see y'all in my next video. Y'all have a good day. Bye.